Glad to be with you once again and thank you for spending time with us on Seatam Church Online. For the last three weeks or so, we've been looking at the significance and the importance of being in God's Word and making it a part of our lives. The reason I felt very strongly about sharing this particular series for the last four Mondays or so was because one of the sad realities I find in Christian circles and just dealing with uh, believers, especially in the role of uh, teaching the Word of God and making disciples, is that so few people really understand what the Bible teaches. They really don't spend time getting to know the Word of God. And many times they misquote it, many times they uh, misrepresent it, they take it out of context, they, uh, they, they, they don't even know that something that has been said is not even in the Bible. And as a result, it makes a mess of their faith, it makes a mess of their lives. I want us to see from this fourth part of the series on being rooted in the Word, how important this is and what God is looking for as we take time in the Word. My name is Reverend Kwame River Deering. You've been watching and continue to watch Seatam Church online. Jesus closed the story of the sower, sowing his seed in the field. He drew attention to a fourth type of soil that received the seed. It was the same seed. The seed was always going to be the word of God, the message of the kingdom. They received the seed and in the fourth type of soil, which is good soil, it had been plowed, it had been prepared, it was ready for the seed. It was moist, it, uh, it had good depth so that the roots could go really deep. And as a result, the seed uh, would, would uh, germinate, it would grow, it became a great crop and produced a hundred times, 60 times, 30 times more than had been planted. God expects that his word produces more than what we first encounter. In other words, when you and I first read the Word of God, you, you and I first see what God is seeking to say to us. God is wanting us to know what it says and to understand what it means, but then he wants us to apply it. He wants it to make it to be a part of our life to the point where we live this Word and we practice this Word that it inspires so many other people. It draws other people to come to know who Jesus is because of the way this Word has become a part of our lives. It was written in a different way. The Apostle James, in the letter of James, said that all of us are like letters that people are reading. And if they can read the good news, they can read the good news of the gospel, of the word of God, from how we live our lives, how we behave, how we relate to one another, that points them to the Lord Jesus Christ. That makes us fruitful believers. But what Jesus uh, uh, was saying here, and I'd like us to look at the text where he explains his, uh, his story, uh, looking at verse 15 of chapter 8 of uh, the Gospel according to Luke. The Bible says, But the ones that fell, the seed that fell on good ground, are those who, having heard the word, with a noble and a good heart, keep it, bear fruit with patience. God wants you and I to treasure this word to the point that we make it a part of our lives. We never allow it to go astray. We never allow it to be taken away from us. We never compromise it. We never disobey it. We allow ourselves with a good heart to keep it and allow it to bear fruit, to produce something in our lives, to produce the, the, the fruit of the word of God and to produce maturity. In fact, in the gospel according to Matthew, it talks about the fruit growing up to maturity. And that's what God is looking for, that the Word of God produces spiritual maturity in us. And that means that we're growing to become just like the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going, growing to become more productive in the way in which we live our, uh, our, our spiritual journey. We'll go take our spiritual journey. And that as a result of doing that, other lives are being impacted. Other people's lives are being shaped by what God has produced within us. I remember when I became a believer, I was only 14 years old, I was in high school, and the Word of God was just so attractive to me. And I, it has remained that way 
right up to this point in, in my life. I remember every single night I was in high school in a boarding school, I would finish my homework. The next thing I would do for the next hour, two hours was just read the Bible. And I would read it over, I would read it in the holidays, I would read it every single day. And just to allow it to become a part of my life and to become a part of my thinking. That has shaped my life in order to be used by God to be in ministry to the world because the truth and the riches of this word have not only become a part of my life, but they become a part of everything that I do. And in so doing, it produces the kind of fruit that attracts more and more people to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what God wants to do in your life and mine. So allow your heart to be the good soil that receives God's word, that keeps it, and that allows it to bear fruit. And that fruit brings glory and honor to God. God bless you. Thank you.